Hello, this is Homa. I go to Rose, and this is for Dr. Miller's ECE 230 class. This is Lab 3. We were doing the LED quick reaction game. This is where you try to um, press the player input button as quickly as possible after you've pressed the start button for this game. So I'm going to demonstrate how this works. This is from the previous game, so I'm going to reset it. And with that button, two, three, four. Yeah, I pressed it late, so all four lights are flashing to indicate that. I pressed it after um, 400, after 400 milliseconds after the fourth LED in the sequence flashed. So let's try this again. One, two three, four, I press the other button, this one, two, and I did it after the fourth LED in the sequence flashed, um, turned on and off, and as you see, I did it 200 milliseconds after that fourth LED turned on and off, so, two lights are let it, um, turned on. So if I do this 300 milliseconds, three lights will turn on. 400 milliseconds after that fourth LED turns on and off, 400, um, four lights will turn on and stay on. Yeah, in all of those cases, the when to indicate how much time has passed after that fourth LED flash, the light, the the LEDs that reflect that amount of time will stay on until you reset it. Yeah, I'm not good at this game, but that's okay. Two, three, four. That's the result I most often get. There we go. Three lights. Okay. Let's see if I can get one or four lights to do it. There's four lights, turning on, staying on. This is what happens if you do it too soon. One light will turn on and it will just keep flashing. Perfect. 
so that's if I press the player input button here before the fourth LED flashes. Let's reset that. There we go. One light lighting up. 100 milliseconds after that fourth LED turned on and off. One turns on, stays on. So, I've demoed all my scenarios. This is for Lab 3 and microcontrollers. Hope to do more videos. Thanks for watching.